Joey Bosa. The saga with the Chargers continued. Shots have been fired from both sides. The Chargers have pulled their offer. Tony, let's start with you. Bosa and his reputation at this point, how much of a hit could it take if, if he doesn't show up? Well, I think it, you know, it definitely it's a hit on him just simply because he's, he's losing money. I know, Chris, uh, we talked about this a little earlier. Um, you know, we negotiated the CBA so we can, well, these, this has been the longest holdout since this rule was in place. And I think, not saying I never want to get into guys' money, but I do think that he's losing money. Anytime there's money coming out of your pocket, it's not a, uh, it's not a good sign. Chris, what do you think? You're a veteran in that locker room. You see this guy, obviously he's talented. He went third overall, but... He's not there, and he's a rookie. How frustrated are you with this kid? Well, here's the thing. I, I don't know if you can necessarily say you're frustrated with Joey Bosa because you're not going to talk about any situation where a player is trying to monetize his exactly. abilities to play. You have such a short window in the National Football League to make this money, so you've got to maximize the opportunity. That being said, I think the San Diego Chargers organization created a lose-lose scenario when coming out publicly and talking about the negotiations of the contracts and their frustrations. No matter how it gets resolved, both parties look like the bad guy yeah. in this situation. Yeah, they're kind of accused of negotiating through the media at this point. Tony, how do you balance that? You obviously, you're businessmen. This is a fellow businessman with you. That's true. You know, you try to make a living, support your family. But there's also the team aspect where you know this guy can help you win. Yeah. Uh, how, 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 how do you balance that with your emotions? Obviously, you're not going to say what you maybe really feel to the media, but deep down inside, you want this guy on the field with you, right? Yeah, I mean, I, just, uh, there's a reason why you drafted him that high. And he obviously... And, um, a, and you're <laughs> drafting that high for a reason. For, for, yeah, exactly. for a reason. So you need that. Exactly. You need that player. And I agree with Chris 100%. You should never have a negotiation in the public. That's not, you're never going to win that battle. It's, it's not good for the organization. It's not good for the player. But you need to figure out a way to get this guy, get this contract worked out. Um, you know, I know there's some loopholes in, in the system. And there's things that they're trying to take advantage of. But he's a player that can, that can come in and help you uh, win. And you you need him on the field. And Tony, the thing that frustrates me most about this situation yeah. is that the San Diego Chargers organization is trying to establish a new precedent under the new rookie wage scale in the 2011 CBA. Mm -hmm. They're asking Joey Bosa to take both a deferral and they're asking him also to have offset language, something that the third overall pick has never done exactly. under this new wage scale that we have for our rookies in place. So I think the Chargers are a little bit overstepping their boundaries. Yep. And then when you consider the fact that they're trying to lobby the residents of San Diego to pass this mm -hmm. new tax for funds for the stadium, it's just kind of like the Chargers want both ways, don't they? They want their cake, they want to eat it too. Yep. They've got to make some kind of concession. And right now it really feels like a dime holding up a dollar in terms of the San Diego Chargers trying to move forward with their on-the-field product and their off-the-field ambitions. What does Jill Ellis, the coach, think about Hope Solo's future with the national team? There's three years before the next big tournament, the World Cup. We haven't heard from Jill Ellis yet on Hope Solo, not in Brazil, and not yesterday when U.S. Soccer made the announcement.